Hey everyone, in this session we're going to take a look at hooking up an external microphone. We all know that the microphones in the phones are not that great. So having an external mic should make your sound sound a lot better. And we're going to look at everything from external mics, what cables I use, to level ear mics, and a little bit more. So let's jump in and take a look at it. So external microphones will give you much better sound. Um, but they can be a little bit tricky to set up depending on your cables. So we have our phone in a rig and this is a video Rode Video Micro Pro. It's a quite a good microphone and um, it's not too expensive at all, but it will give you much better sound than the phone itself. So let's take a look at how to hook this up. So the next thing we need to talk about is the two types of connectors that you'll come across. If you look at these cables, you have one with three rings on it. These are the three black stripes. So this is known as TRRS. And then we have other ones which have two stripes on it. And this is known as TRS. So I'm not gonna keep repeating TRRS and TRS. It just makes it more confusing. Um, I'll just call it three stripe and two stripe. So the three stripe one here is what will plug into the phone itself, whether it's an Android, or an iPhone, it doesn't matter. The other side with the two stripes on it normally go into the microphone. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about some other cables that you might come across. So this is, remember, three stripes, T-R-S, then this goes into the phone. Two stripes comes out of the microphone itself, in, and this goes into the phone. So we're gonna pick up on this and look at some other cables. So in this first cable, this is a two stripe to a two stripe. This is normally used to come out of the microphone itself. And this would normally plug into a camera, like a mirrorless camera or a DLSR. So they take two stripes and two stripes coming out of your microphone into a normal DLSR or mirrorless camera. In this cable, this is an adapter cable here. It has two stripes, so two rings on this side. This is what will come out of the microphone itself to a three ring or three stripe connector. And this will go directly into the phone. Some phones, such as the new uh, Androids and iPhones, don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack anymore, especially the newer phones. So you need some type of adapter to be able to plug this connector into the phone. So your phone may or may not, uh, normally it's just older phones, will have a 3.5 millimeter port right here. So that means that the three ring connector will go in here and the other side, which is a two ring connector, will go into the microphone. This phone's connected up with the three ring port connector goes into the phone directly into the port here and the other side goes into the microphone is the two ring. So this should work directly if your phone has a 3.5 millimeter port right here. A lot of the older phones have it. Definitely the new phones don't. Androids have uh, USB-C uh, connections now to 3.5 millimeter ports. So the iPhones, iOS, iPads have the lightning port going from the lightning port on the iPhone to, um, it's actually a TRRS connection. And we'll look at that next. Okay, for iOS systems, iPads, iPhones, we have the lightning connector. It plugs into the phone itself. And on the other side, you have the 3.5 millimeter jack. This is actually a TRRS connection. So that's why you can wear the headphones from the iPhone, which has a little microphone built into it. So that's uh, what a three connector would go into this. It'll also take uh, normal headphones, which have a two uh, rings to it, or they just have the headphone so you can listen to sound music, etc., coming out of the iPhone. All right, so here we are now. We've plugged in the connector for the iPhone. The gray connection here is the three ring going into this connection. You can see with the Filmic Pro app, we can see that we have a, a visual meter here, so that's good. And it says iPhone mic bottom. It's actually being connected through here at the moment. And if I tap this, you can see that effect. So what we'll do next is take the connector, which has two rings on it, and we're gonna connect that over to 
the back of the microphone. And now you'll see that the setting over here has set, now it says headset microphone instead of bottom. So if I'm quiet and I just scratch this microphone, we should see that on the meter. And now you can see that that's the microphone that's being used. So next on this one, I'm gonna now try what happens if we put in the two pin each side. So this doesn't have the two pin to three pin or the three ring to two rings. So if I plug this in normally to the back of a microphone and this is now saying iPhone mic bottom, then I plug this into the iPhone. Remember it's just got two pins, not three. And now nothing changes. So it still says iPhone mic bottom. So if I scratch on this and keep quiet, we don't have anything. But if I tap the bottom, so it's still recording with the bottom one because the microphone's not being seen. You must have a two ring to three rings going into, into this area here. So three rings at this side going into the iPhone or iPad, two rings going into the microphone again. So the next thing we want is how can we monitor the recording that the sound that we're recording maybe in real time and um, take a look at our levels. So what you could do is you can get a splitter. So this splitter, they're pretty cheap on Amazon. It has a three ring here that will go into the camera or the phone. On the other side, you have two other connections. One's labeled for a microphone and the other one's labeled for a headset, so headphones. So again, these are two ring connectors. And this is a three ring connector. This will go into the phone, but our cable coming from the microphone has to be, when it comes into here, also be a three ring one. So let's just demonstrate that. In this one, let's hook this up here. We have our extension. So our three ring is gonna go into the iPhone. Click this in here. It still says iPhone mic bottom because nothing's connected. We're going to connect a two ring to the microphone itself. And then we're going to find the connector that says it's got, um, it's written for a microphone. We're going to put the three prong connector or the three ring connector into here. And then we're going to then connect the headphone set to the headphones. So we can see here that nothing changed. So what went wrong? So we have this cable. This is a three ring cable and it's going into a two ring adapter. So that won't work. So the three ring is going into the phone correctly, but the other two ends that are here they're actually two ring adapters. So nothing changed on this, so that didn't work. So what we've got to do is switch that out to the cable that has two rings on it for each side. So we have two rings there as well. And then we plug that in. And then now we can see that it changed the headset microphone. And again, if I scratch the microphone, We're even hearing it through the headset. So that's how you can listen to the recording sound as you're recording and set the levels. And you set the levels, by the way, by just going and changing this slider along the front to change your levels really small, or you can increase the gain just by dragging them up to where you want them. And that's how we can attach a headset so you can monitor your recording sound. Another thing you can do, just a tip here, is um, they call them wind socks or dead cats. When you're um, outside and you're recording, you can get these little 
foam or they can be furry uh, and they just go right over the microphone and this will help dramatically with um, like high wind areas or the, just the wind in general outside. So it's a good idea to put this on the microphone. So another thing you could try to use if you have a Bluetooth headset, if you connect to your Bluetooth that has a microphone, uh, you can just connect to it. So I can connect this headset here. And then you'll see that it connects and it says Williams Powerbeats. And it says iPhone mic bottom, but this is connected as a headset. So I can try to listen to it if I was connecting it. Still using the microphone here in this case. But if you got a microphone built into a Bluetooth headset, you can try that, just to experiment. The only thing is with Bluetooth, there's a, a lag between when you hear what's being recorded to the time you hear it in your headset. So just be aware that it could be like a half a second difference. And personally, I, I don't like it. I'd rather hear in real time. All right, uh, next, these work really well, lavalier mics. This one um, is really popular and we have nothing to do with them, but it's from a company called Purple Panda. And it comes with all sorts in the bag. It comes with attachments for GoPros and, and it's pretty cheap. But they got good reviews on Amazon, so check it out. You'll see here that it's a little lavalier mic that it gets connected to your shirt or you can put it under your shirt, under a tie. You can tape it to your skin, on your skin. And this gives really good sound because it's actually um, right next to your mouth. It even comes with a little windsock. It comes with a little foamy windsock as well, which works. If it's really windy, you can put this over the top of the mic and it's a three ring connector. So this will just go, we can see this is iPhone mic bottom. We're just gonna connect this guy directly into here. And this just changed directly to headset microphone. So now if I just scratch this over here, That microphone's connected directly and because it'll be really close to your source, which if you're talking is your mouth, um, it gives a lot uh, of high quality sound recording. That's what you see in all the TV commercials or interviews. They have a lavalier mic attached to them. It's wired, so it goes directly from you and there's an extension cable you can get. So you can be 20 feet away from this and whatever and have uh, still the same good quality.